gonna get, this, get some boulders for up there to line that area. Um, and then once we get those in, uh, before we do all the gravel up there, we gotta put in a drain pipe. I've got uh, that stick of that. Uh, we're doing some PVC across there on the front as a, like a kind of a curtain drain, uh, French drain kind of system. Um, just so uh, the PVC is a little bit more rigid because you're gonna be driving cars over it. I don't wanna put the corrugated pipe uh, because it'll, it'll crush uh, or potentially crush. Um, so I'm gonna do the PVC there and then we'll cover it over with gravel. Um, and that'll be like sort of a drain to catch any water kind of cascading down, coming down this way before it hits the driveway. And then it'll drain out, kind of run that way down the driveway. So that's what we're doing today. Good morning. Let me show you what we got done yesterday. So we got all the boulders in. Um, basically just lined the whole perimeter here with boulders. We got these local landscape supply place. Um, kind of set them in place and um, kind of dug out a little bit and then we backfilled in behind them. Still got a little bit more backfilling to do, just some shovel work that I need to do. There's some gaps right there that I need to fill in. Might actually throw some like uh, some of those flagstones in there or something just to fill in those gaps. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of the, the rest of this stuff we'll just have to hand dig. This is such a, a tight little area. Um, we're gonna have to uh, basically hand dig this. I could only get basically to, um, to right there and then the width of the bucket. The bucket was just too wide to get any further into that uh, area. So um, we're going to do that, and then I've got to uh, hand dig this uh, trench here for the drainage pipe that's going to run through here. So we're going to dig a trench all the way down and put some pipe in and just sort of dump it out over there um, so that we've got some some drainage in this area here. Um, so I don't have to dig this trench very deep, um, probably just another three inches or so. Um, from where it's already at here. And then that area, uh, we'll have to dig that out. Fortunately, a lot of this dirt right here is all kind of fill dirt. Um, so it's a little bit easier digging. So we'll just dig it out to down there until I basically, I'll check the pitch. And it, once I feel like I've got adequate pitch and I'm above the ground, I'll stop it and just let it drain off down there, down the driveway. So we'll have some drainage through here. So any water that might come through here, migrate through this gravel, will hit that drain. And it'll run that way before it goes up over the driveway. Um, so we did that. Um, and then we're gonna do um, a couple inches of crush and run in here for a base. Um, and then we're gonna top over that with a few inches of um, slate chips for gravel. So we're going to do some mini slate chips. The slate chips are more expensive than normal gravel, but they look so much better. Um, they just have a diff better color. They lay flatter. Um, they have a little bit of a, almost like a glossy texture to them, I guess you could say. Um, so we're going to do those. Here's some, here's a shot of some of the, the boulders here. We just kind of laid them up against the wall. I mean, really this, this wall is not that structural at all. I mean, most of that dirt is very, very solid. And then I'm going to plant some plants in behind that wall um, so that uh, they it doesn't erode away. I'm going to put some plants in kind of various spots. I'm going to go get some gardens, a few bags of garden soil and kind of pour it in some of these areas um, after I've kind of backfilled a little bit with the regular dirt. Um, and then we'll put some garden soil in there. And what that'll do is the plants will just, the roots will go down and, and fill that up. So that's the plan uh, there. And then uh, I still have the sod cutter this morning. I'm going to go take it back this morning. I'm going to cut one path with a sod cutter above here, above the wall to kind of cut it back just a little bit further. Um, and 
All right, so we're back filling here. We got some help today. Got a couple guys for the day. Um, we've got our um, solid perforated pipe in, so it's got holes in the bottom of it. You want the holes pointed down. Um, and um, I'm about to go get some bagged gravel in here. We'll get a few bags of gravel and basically just fill all this up with bagged gravel. Um, that's gonna let the water kinda run. There's a little bit of a slope on this, so any water is gonna hit this sub base here of dirt and kinda migrate this way, and it'll fill up that trench, fill up with the water. We basically have this pipe going eighth inch per foot slope all the way down and then it just daylights out right over there and it'll just drain out that way um so we're filling this in i'm gonna get a little bit of uh we got some really loose fluffy fill with not a lot of rocks in it there's a ton of gravel in that this is where we dumped all the gravel when we were doing construction so we got the sod cut back here we'll relay that sod back down and um we're just filling this area this is the sock pipe through here um but really most of the water comes in this area anyways so i'm gonna go get some gravel fill this up and then uh we'll good go morning there. so today we got we're gonna spread some gravel um unfortunately my i rented a uh that kubota mini skit again that i did uh to do all the plants uh but it's didn't come back yesterday afternoon so it's not gonna be back till later this morning so he'll be here around lunchtime maybe a little bit before um we got uh two uh tandem loads of um gab or gab is basically like crush and run uh georgia approved base this road base um got that delivered over there so i'm gonna go take some of that stuff and put it here um a couple inches down just as a base underneath this and then behind me, right there, I got five tons of mini slate chips. I prefer the mini slate chips. You can get medium slate chips, large slate chips. I think the mini slate chips look the best. Um, medium's okay, uh, but I like the mini. It's hard to find the mini, though. I had to call around to a lot of different landscape suppliers, and I finally found um, one who had uh, 15 tons of it. Uh, there were a couple places, my usual places, one of them had three tons, but two of the three were already accounted for. Um, the super sod where I got all this stuff, they had like a half a scoop. They didn't have enough. Um, and there's only like one quarry around here um, that brings the slate in, and it only comes in a few times a year. Um, so a lot of places have a lot of medium slate chips, but the but the mini slate chips is what most people want because it's great for like garden walkways and pathways. Um, obviously this parking pad, I'm going to do it here. Um, it's more expensive, but it looks a thousand times better. The slate chips have like that really dark, dark gray color and they kind of keep that dark gray color, um, over time. And then they sort of lay very flat because they are by nature, very flat rocks. So we got five tons of that. Hopefully that's enough to cover this area based on my calculations. It should be. Um, and, uh, we're going to get that and spread it out. Um, I rented the Kubota mini skid because it, it can get in this tight space. The SBL 75, uh, which Andy's going to bring by maybe later today, maybe tomorrow morning. Um, and we're going to use that to do uh, spread out the GAB down there, smooth all that out. But the 75, this is just a really tight spot to get the 75 into. Plus, you're turning around on the driveway. As you can see, I've got black marks all over the driveway here from the SBL 75 and from the Takeuchi uh, excavator turning around, spinning around here. Um, we're gonna pressure wash and clean all this stuff off. I've got um, Matthew, my pressure washing guy, although I do have a 3,500 PSI steel pressure washer myself, but uh, Matthew will come out here and do the driveway. He came out and did the house last week um, and he's gonna come back and do the driveway once we're all done. So I think he's already got me on the calendar for next week. Uh, I wanna talk about um, the plants here and how I did the plants, what I did. So I, I got all the plants in on the wall, the boulder walls in. So I went uh, the other day and um, got a bunch of different like little plants to fill in the wall here. I'm gonna add some more stuff here. I think I'm gonna do some ornamental grasses right here. Maybe a grouping of like one, two, three ornamental grasses right here. Um, something a little different than what I have there. I'm thinking something with like a little bit of like a variated like yellow texture in it. I want a different color texture over here, but 
I like ornamental grasses because they are very, very low maintenance. They require very little amounts of water um, and they get really big and they fill spaces. And depending on the variety you get, you get different flower plumes and you get different variegations of color and different textured leaves. I like ornamental grasses. Some people don't care for them, but I like them. Like I mentioned in some of the other videos, I got a, light, a lot of white muley grass and I have that little kitten grass. Uh, let's talk about another grass I put in here. So this is Elijah blue fescue here. So this is like little clumps of fescue and I put these in here as little accent plants. So I've got one, I think I put it, I think I got six. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six around there. And then um, I put in, I don't even remember what these are called, but I found them at Scottsdale Farms at the nursery I go to. Um, and I'll share the, uh, I'll pop the link up here on this. in just a second so i put some of these in these kind of have a sort of a spreading low growth trailing habit so they'll kind of grow out sort of fill in this spot and then i put some uh creeping jenny here uh, so we've got some creeping jenny that i just sort of wedged in some of these um spots and it'll grow down over the rocks again there's some more of that stuff it has these little purple little purple flowers on it very pretty um i had some more of these um Super Bell's uh, petunias um, that I left over from when I did that over there. So um, I went and bought just a few more of them. I think I bought like eight more of them or six more of them or something. And I just sort of filled them in here um, just as sort of filler plants because those do sort of spread and they have pretty flowers and stuff. And then I had some begonias. Um, so I stopped, I popped some begonias in randomly. These were like literally just leftover begonias that I had um, from the other things. So I put them up here. So I got some begonias in here. Again, here's the creeping Jenny and the Elijah blue fescue. So this will all kind of grow in. I think I'm gonna do something here in this little spot where we filled some dirt. I don't really know yet. I do have some creeping Jenny left. So I might plug some of that in that spot there. I've got a few things of creeping Jenny left. I bought basically like a whole flat of creeping Jenny. Um, and um, as you can see, I took some of these, uh, these, uh, flagstones and basically made some little dams for the dirt just to kind of hold it back um just to fill in some of these gaps here um and let's see here i had to i did replace that other butterfly bush one of them died i thought it was coming back but it didn't come back so i got a new uh, pugster blue there and i also put some gold mop cypress here we were looking at and i may change this out eventually maybe put the lady at the nursery suggested like a Japanese maple here, which I, I tend to agree with her, but I didn't really want to spend the money on a Japanese maple because I've already spent a fortune this year and I need to chill on spending money and take a break. Um, after this week, we're kind of all done with the landscaping. It is starting to get really hot for the year and you know, I don't want to, I don't want to spend any more money, nor do I want to do any more, more work. Just kind of enjoy the rest of the summer and it's getting hot. So um, got a gold mop cypress here and a gold mop cypress there. So those are good about four to five feet uh, in size or mature site height. So that will kind of fill in this area right here. Um, and it's got some, you know, the gold mop has that sort of flowing floppy kind of gold texture, which I like. So we'll put something in over here as a backdrop. Maybe we'll even put like a little grouping of um, maybe some drift roses right here just on the corner. Um, but I'll do that next year. I'm kind of done with plants for the year. So, uh, the only other plants we're going to do is we're just going to go get some pots this afternoon and do a few potted plants on the front porch. We, um, so I'll just get some stuff for potted plants and then we're basically, basically done. Um, what I have left to do here today, like I said, is spread the gravel and then I need to bury my landscape light wire. So I put in the path lights. Honestly, I probably should have bought one more path light. I mean, this looks good, but I think it would look better if I change the spacing just a little bit and actually moved that light right there and then put a light over there on that corner. I think that would look a little bit better, but honestly, this, this does look pretty good already. So it can always improve, right? Um, so I gotta, I gotta, you know, bury this wire, hide this wire. I'll do that today. Um, clean up the trash behind me. I just loaded up the trailer there. I'll put all these pallets and I got more trash down there on the other side. And my wife asked me when I'm gonna clean up our shanty town, which is this weekend, <laughs> our down there 
on the lower side looks like a shanty town. There's just pallets and rocks and just just stuff everywhere. Um, also, uh, we got to put in some of those uh, emerald green arborvitaes down there um, to plant a hedge. So me and the neighbor are going to do that. We'll probably just go do some little ones, get some little $10 ones and let them grow up um, right here in the front. And then we'll put some more mature ones in the back to sort of have an instant hedge per se. So he said he'd split the cost of those with me. So we'll do those. And then me and him and his, his, he's got two older boys, um, that are teenagers that are kind of, you know, out of school for the summer and, you know, they can help out dig some holes. So anyways, so that's uh, on the plan. So when the, when the Kubota mini skids get, gets here, I will get to work on moving some gravel and getting this area filled and it will look very nice. So that is um, filling in this wall. You just kind of want to fill in the spots, just throw them in, have some nice flowing stuff that flows over the walls. You want some color, you want some differences in texture. And um, so that's what we accomplished here. And I think it's uh, turning out quite nice. So, all right. chips are down so looking good i just kind of hosed them off a little bit they'll change colors a little bit as it rains and kind of washes a lot of the dust off i did hose a decent amount of the dust off um and then there was <laughs> a cloud of dust in the driveway when i was blowing it off whatever gravel i didn't use which is just a tiny little bit i just pushed off the edge back there because i do need some more gravel there at the end of the driveway um so uh but yeah we got all the slate down looks fantastic Put down maybe a couple inches of uh, GAB crush and run down. A little bit heavier in a couple low spots. But I'd say it looks great. And uh, it'll rain in and kind of, it'll pack in, settle out over time. Um, but uh, we got a little parking area now here. So glad to see that finally finished. So, all right. Almost done. All we got left is over here. Oh, 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 oh,